Hey, what's up guys, it's Xbox here, and today I'm bringing you some more gameplay of Forza Motorsport 4. Um, it's a 1v1, but before we get into that, I thought I'd show you a bit about the difficulties and that kind of stuff. So here we go here. Um, the difficulty, what's really good about it is that it's all customizable, and um, the more that you turn off, the more earnings you can actually earn per race, which kind of gives you a bit of an incentive to make things a little bit harder for yourself. So I thought I'd go through a couple of them. So you've got the steering. I keep that on normal. Simulation is more for... Um, is more for like steering wheels. Uh, you get stability control, traction control, then the shifting you can have automatic manual or manual with clutch, um, which puts the clutch on LB. Um, you got suggested line, um, you can have it full of braking, I keep it on braking, um, just so I, because I don't really know some of the tracks yet, so that kind of helps. Um, the damage for your tire, your simulation is really good because you know you can actually flip your car and ride it right off. So that's what I play with. I play with stability and traction control off. I use the clutch. Um, and, you know, those things kind of sound really daunting. Like, oh, shit, you know, traction control off. Uh, you know, stability, stability control off. It kind of feels like, you know, oh, man, this is going to be really hard. Like, it, it, it seems really scary having them off. But in reality, um, to me, it actually makes the cars feel a lot better. Um, for one, it makes them feel way more realistic. You, you like, you definitely feel... Um, you know, a lot of definition between the cars when you jump from a, you know, um, a little hatchback to, you know, uh, a, you know, a ton bloody weighing Mustang, um, <laughs> you know, you feel the difference. It's, it's massive with those kind of controls off and it, it's awesome. And having those off as well, it allows you to drift a little bit. Um, it gives you a bit of leeway. I find when you got like, you know, stability control and stuff off, uh, on, um, when you're going around a corner, if, if it thinks you're going to go into like a bit of a drift, what it does, it, it activates and it actually makes you understeer um, and you'll uh, usually end up in the wall um, with that on. So with it off, it actually allows the tyres, you know, to you know, kind of screech and kind of the weight goes on them and, you know, you kind of slide a little bit, but that actually helps you around the corner, um, which, you know, a lot of people don't really realise that. Um, you know, having being able to drift a little bit actually does come in handy. So this is the actual race, it's a one-on-one, -on -one. all I've got to do is beat this uh, little Mazda here, um, but there is traffic on the road, and the bastards always seem to sit right in the bloody racing line, um, makes it really annoying, kind of, um, it's good though, makes it a little bit more challenging, you kind of got to adapt, um, I didn't adapt too well in some situations, this race was, you know, not perfect, I had a few pranks going down this mountain. Um, but keep in mind, I am, you know, racing in the, with the manual, with the clutch and the stability and all that kind of stuff is off. So, you know, I'm kind of doing 50,000 things at once while I'm trying to dodge this traffic and win. Um, but, you know, I really enjoy it. I never really meant to take him out there. But when I did hit him, I tried to push him into the wall on the left just to try and take him out. Because there is full damage and you can, you know, knock your car fully out. Um, which was kind of funny. The damage is fairly good. I haven't had any, like, really major pranks yet. Um, except for one time I went over the line and then like as I went over the line I hit the handbrake just being stupid and I went over the line and while the game was kind of like usually it shows you know the AI takes over once you go over the line and as I went over the line um, the car in second place come along and smashed my car and went flying through the air it was pretty funny um, I'm sure eventually I'm gonna have a massive prang and I'll put it up um, sure enough soon with these rear-wheel drive cars I oh, see like there I went around going the outside and the cars just stuck to the the racing line and just jammed me up against the wall there um, so yeah, if I do have any good pranks, I'm sure like I was saying, with rear wheel drive cars, with the traction control off and stuff like that, you, you do tend to, um, you know, oversteer and then, you know, you're, if you're in a fast cars, you know, which I'm slowly getting into now, um, if you're spinning out right in the middle of, a, you know, of the pack, you're going to get absolutely smashed and I'm sure it's going to cause some carnage. Also, what's good about this game, this is actually part of the World Tour mode, and not only are there just normal races where, you know, you're just going around doing laps, um, the, the field is actually pretty good. It's like 12 cars now, which is really good, um, but also there's like these kind of different side kind of like races, like this one's a 1v1 race, um, there's ones where you're on the t um, Top Gear test track, and you, it's like bowling pins everywhere, and you've got to like knock them all down and shit. I think that'll be the next video I'll probably put up, because that was kind of um, a fun little mode to kind of show. Uh, but I also wanted to, uh, you know, get this up first, just so you can kind of see, you know, the actual physics, the actual racing happening. Um, so yeah, I did win that race. Here's the replay. This first corner looks sick in this replay. You, you, you watch this. The smallest of gaps, and I fit the little car in there. That was awesome. I reckon this has probably been the best replay 
um, I've seen yet of this like mountain the camera angles and that re like really really good um, the game runs at 60 frames a second um, yeah, I, I not, it wasn't too long ago that I actually realized what that really meant but it makes the game run really smooth the graphics are awesome um, yeah the game controls are tight um, like I say, you can come from like you can be a beginner or a veteran with all those assists. I mean, you can turn braking assist on, and the, the game will brake for you going around the corners, and you know, the steering assist and all that kind of shit. So even if you had like you know, say you know a little kid playing it, and you wanted to jump in and have a muck around, you put them on, and you're pretty much he'll be able to drive around the course pretty easy. He'll, all you pretty much have to do is hold the the you know accelerator and just steer, and you know, it'll brake for him. So it's kind of accessible for you know all ages, um, whether you're a veteran or new to the you know driving, um, which which is you know amazing. But you know the good thing about the veteran drivers, you know those perks of getting you know extra cash from those you know putting taking stuff off is you know I think that's really cool and um, you know I'm glad you know the series is stuck to doing that. Um, with as far as it goes with the manual, the clutch kind of goes is like LB is your clutch. So what you gotta do is, in uh, anyone who's driven clutch in real life, it's pretty much the same. Um, you know, you gotta use, let go of the right trigger, hold LB, tap either X to go down a gear, B to go up a gear, and then you let the uh, clutch out and accelerate again. But you know, it sounds like a lot, but at the time, it, it, those shifts happen within like a second. You, you do it really fast. I'm used to it from four to three. Um, and the good thing about it is, like with these like little cars here, it's actually really um, easy. To kind of do it with these little cars maybe when the, i start getting the really fast cars it might be really hard to you know be shifting and doing everything at once but then i can just go in and turn that off if i want to that's the you know that's the good thing about it you're not locked into those assists so you can just change it from race to race another thing is i want to quickly talk about which i forgot was um when you level up um you, you can actually choose a gift car which is really cool anyway that's it for this one catch you guys later